Hi everybody, this is With Love, and it's by Carrie, um, because everything you make is with a touch of love. Um, today I was asked how to do a print and cut on Silhouette, so I figured I'd make a video, and, um, this one's for Sean, and, um, here we go. Alrighty, so she wants to do a, a Paw Patrol print and cut, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you straight from where I find my um, my characters. So I put in Paw Patrol clip art into the Google search images. And after I do that, I go to Tools, and then I go to Size, and I put Large. And you'll notice that it's switched because you want a large um, pixeled images. So if you look at this one, this one, I'm not wearing my right glasses, so it says 1500 and 2000. So that one's going to be huge, which would be great depending on any size that you really want to make it. Um, this one is 3000, if I'm reading that correctly, yes. Um, so these are the kind of sizes you want to use. If you go down to like the 700s, 700s are great. Um, so let's let's just get started. So I want to let's see who do I want to work on today. Um, let's do. I don't remember his name, but okay, let's take him. Now I clicked on him and he comes up. You do not want to take this picture you want to go to view image see how big he is then what you'd like to what you should do is you should either copy it or what I do is I copy and then I go to my um, my folders and I go to um, where I keep all my pictures so my desktop folders, hold on a second, my JPEGs, because this is where I keep all my ideas as to what I'm going to be working on. So I have a folder with Paw Patrol. So let me see where he is. P, P, okay, here we go. Okay, I do mostly cutting. I don't do printing cuts. So that's why there's a lot of coloring book pictures. And then I paste it in here. And there you go. All right, so I'm just going to make minimize that, minimize this, and now we're back into silhouette. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I am going to just drag him over. So I'm dragging him over, and there you go. Now we don't need this anymore, and now I have him. And I'm going to make him a little bit bigger because his, um, his pixels were pretty large. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the background. See where it's white? We want to get rid of all the white. So I'm going to take him and I am going to go to the trace pixels. Okay, I'm going to hit select trace area and I'm going to draw a box around him. And what I'd like to do is take the threshold and bring it all the way out so he's completely yellow. Now, if you go, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. If you see that the lines are fuzzy, go back a little bit. You want to have a crisp line. And again, I'm not wearing my right glasses, so give me a minute. Um, all right, so we're pretty good right now. This didn't color in, his eyes didn't color in, that's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit Trace and Detach. Okay, let me zoom out a little bit and get rid of this because we don't need this anymore. Now remember, there was a paper background to him. So what I'm going to do is I'm clicking on that. And as you can see, I took away the background. And now we just delete that. We don't need it. Now, if you remember correctly, my little arrow and his eyes were not included. So if I moved him, we may have lost it. 
so what I'm going to do is I am going to just draw a box around them and I'm going to group it if group is available. So none of the pieces detached. Now we have him. And what I'd like to do is what I'm going to put the grids in the back so that you could see what I'm doing because sometimes if it's all white it um show grid. Okay. So now you could see what I'm doing. Um now what I want to do is I want to do an offset. So I'm going to click on him so that you have they know when you click offset silhouette knows that you're going to be working on this piece. So we're going to hit the little star with the outline around it and that's an offset. We're going to hit the offset button and now you notice we have a line that came across around it. Okay and I'm going to bring it down to 50 and I'm going to color it white. Okay. Now if I take him and I move him away, there's the offset. Put that back, put him back, go back. Whoops. There we go. So now he's on top of the white. Minnie, stop it. S excuse me. My puppy is barking out the window. Now we're going to do is we're going to group this. Group. And now it's all as one piece. Now, depending on if you have a printer that's 12 by 12 or a 8 by 11, depending on what you're going to do. I only have an 8 by 8.5 by 11 printer. So, I have to change my paper size. So, it says automatic. We're going to bring it down to a letter size, letter size. Bring him in the center. And then we have to put in our registration marks. Hit off. I put in type 1. Now, that means cannot print or cut in where this blue is or where the red line is. Okay, so what I do is I bring my length all the way in. It doesn't go any further than this. And then my thickness I bring in. And then the insert I bring all the way out. Okay? So now we have a little bit more space to work with. And you can make him just big enough to be inside these lines. Okay. Now with the new um, Silhouette program, I'm not sure, and I haven't figured it out yet, how to set your cut lines in this um, phase. I only know how to set it when it goes to, when you send it to um, print, I mean cut. So if I send it to cut, just so that you're aware, okay, I set it to 80 pound paper and then I go to the next and it doesn't show any cut lines quite yet. So we have to make sure that he's selected. Do you see this box? That means that he's selected. If I hit cut with where inside the circle and square are dark, that means it's going to cut a double cut. If you can notice right here, it's two lines. I only want a single cut around the edge, so that would be this one. And it'll only cut the outside. Okay? And then you'd hit next. But what I would do prior to hitting next is I, I bring up my speed. I bring up my thickness and most of the times I do a double cut just to be sure because sometimes my needle isn't strong enough to cut through everything clean so I double cut it. Alright, so let's go back to the design and at this point what you'll do is you'll just send it to your printer. Send to printer, you send it to your printer and it'll print out with your registration marks and also your picture. The red line will not be there. Okay? So that's how you would set up to send it to a print and cut and I will be back in a minute so I could show you what it looks like and then after it's cut. Okay? Thank you.